Hello, my soul friends, once again. Okay, finally, we are going to start the workshop. <laughs> Till now, we have been talking about some basic information about spirituality. Now, let us experience the divine light healing practical. Okay, before we could do the process, I am going to talk about the theory of the process. You just cannot miss anything. It's very, very important. Let me tell you, you have to listen to me very carefully now. Okay. Each and every point, each and every word is very important. Okay, dear. So let us start the practical experience. And at the same time, before we could get into the practical process of the first process, the divine healing process, we are going to be, I am going to share with you the theory part. Okay. The same thing, the practical uh, process, I'm going to talk to you theoretically so you can understand what exactly you're going to do. Then we will do it practically. Okay, dear. So now let me just. Okay. Again, the first process is going to start with our aura enhancement, aura cleansing, removal of negative energies. We will understand what is the meaning of negative energies. Though I already told you what is the meaning of aura. Let me just um, repeat once again. Aura or human energy fields are the layers of energy which interconnects all other subtle bodies and also acts like a shield covering and protecting our more refined subtle bodies like the mental emotional and spiritual definitely of course the astral bodies okay dear okay spiritual enhancement and development trying to help the needy to reach towards the higher dimensional frequency let me tell you this workshop is going to change your life life and transform your life why i'm saying this again and again because we are going to draw, we are going to bring the highest form of frequency from the higher dimension to help you. Okay. So for this, pro, for this, we are just trying this. You can just see like, you know, <laughs> I know it's a wonderful video um, picture. I just liked it. I thought of sharing it with you all. Okay. We are somewhere as just a particle, you know, just a particle. That's the reason we call it as star. We need to get connected to our superstar that is our causal body with the help of this uh, connecting star that is our astral body. Okay, dear. So what is the meaning of negative energies? What is the meaning of negative energies? There are two types of negative energies. One is your own thought process. your own thinking behavior, your own thinking patterns, your own thinking emotions, okay? Anything which is there with us, where we are using our brain, where we are using our, our mind, okay? So there, there are always positive thought process, negative thought process. Since we are talking about removal of negative energies, negative thought process, negative entities, that's the reason we are talking about negative thought process, okay? The second one is the real negative energies, the wandering souls we attract according to our karmic impressions, okay? Both these energies are going to get washed off, okay, dear? The first, in this also we are talking about this first process itself is divided into two parts, okay? That is the removal of negative energies. Then we will be followed, the, the next process will be followed by the most powerful protection shields, okay? To remove the negative energies, we are going to take the helping hand from the most wonderful Mother Earth as well as Archangel Michael, uh, to cleanse you, okay? So the first process starts like this. Okay, I will be talking uh, more into detail. Okay, what are the meaning? What is the meaning of negative energies? Okay, the low negative vibrations, energies and frequency. What are those? Whatever we have mentioned here. Okay, it is all come into the category of the negative energies. Okay, hurting. If you if you like to hurt someone. Okay, 
you have an attitude to show that you know your you have a pride you know and um, there are many people they have a very negative attitude towards others doubt dislike hatred talking ill about others suppression complaining criticism judgmental being judgmental keeping the grudge shame guilty anger anger pride and fear these are all come into the category of negative energies okay i remember um one, one of the in one of the workshop there is one lady talking about uh, some devi uh, you know come and the devi keep talking about something if she doesn't do that devi is going to you know harm her um, you know spoil her relationship or spoil her business you know let me tell you one thing please put this into your subconscious mind if they are positive energy they will never make you get scared of anything the enlightened light beings the enlightened divine beings are here to help you if you can be a very bad person with a very lowest form of frequency you are living with but still when we talk about the uh, higher dimensional being you talk about angels archangels masters you can be a very bad person still they will try to pull you they will ne never make you get scared of anything if any kind of um, uh, energy coming and making you get scared giving you the fear that means simply you have to think that devi or that um, person who were talking like you know that he has been uh, or he is a medium or he is a healer if he is if he or she is making you get scared or maybe some kind of person possessed and talking about something that mean please please try to avoid all this the light enlightened being will never make you get scared because can you able to see the fear comes number 1 negative energy okay if anybody is making you get scared they are giving you the fear that means the person is not positive okay at the same time it's all depend on the personal life sometimes uh, the parents uh, uh, teach us some lessons you know with some fear that is okay i'm talking about energies there are many people they keep going to some people they go they keep going to mandir some baba mulla those people make them uh, get scared give them the fear of life you know fear of you know if they don't do something they will uh, this will happen nothing will happen let me tell you this okay it's very very important the positive energies will never make you get scared okay anyway these are low and negative vibrations energies and frequencies okay now what is the meaning of the wandering souls like you can able to see this is uh, you know you can able to see some one girl you know this is a real life uh, incident one of my uh, you know student she had just learned uh, uh, she had just finished doing the workshop maybe around 2 uh, months ago then after two months she just happened to take her daughter she is here the daughter is here for the swimming classes in one of the club you know that time she captured this picture in this a uh, straw um the small mobile like you know um, where the small keys are there what is that name of this um, mobile i am not understanding the mobile name you know in that mobile this photo got captured okay this is a real picture and she got she never got scared because she has already done the workshop so she knows what is positive energy what is um, negative energy how we can handle them how we can also help them you know so she never got scared that at this point of time i was there in new york in usa okay she just put the intention that she wants to send this photograph to me that is on tuesday but somehow she was not having the internet connection so she was just waiting for the data to come and something that's what she said and before she could able to send the picture this girl had already come to my house when i was watching the movie you know i was watching the tv my daughter was having bath in the she was bathing in the bath, in the bathroom and she went and stood close to the glass and the moment she saw this girl my daughter mariam she 
<laughs> she said it loudly. Please go to my mother. My mother can help you. I just asked Mariam whom you are talking to in the bathroom. And before I could able to finish, this girl, she just, the soul of this girl, she just came and stood very, um, you know, close to the curtain. I was watching the TV was here. The curtain was here. I could able to just uh, felt her and sensed her. I just told her, baby, whoever you are, you please go now. Please come on Friday. That is Jumma. I will try to release you on Jumma. That is um, on Friday afternoon. And, you know, before I could finish saying, and she disappeared, you know. Then she came on Friday after 2 p.m. But can you believe she came along with more 10 souls, you know. So that means there are n number of um, souls. They are waiting to get released. The release means they just want to get released from, from the earthly life. They are just waiting if somebody can uh, connect to them, you know. So that's the reason many people who has the uh, clay sentience, clay voyance abilities, they try to feel this kind of... Um, uh, energy is very often some somehow we don't know how to handle so we get scared of all this but after this uh, after this workshop definitely you know what to do you know but nothing should happen because we are going to put the protection shields and all but i'm just taught uh, that's the reason i keep saying this is a very very advanced level of intensive spiritual soul and karmic healing workshop so you will understand in and out of all the spirituality okay dears so Okay, so these are the wandering souls, you know, they can also get connected to us according to our karmic imperations, okay, whatever we have done, okay. Now, since you have already gone through all this, I just want you to take your notebook again, the pen, and start writing, okay. What are your current negative energy thought process? What are your current feelings and how you wish to change okay if i have to tell you please see this uh, image see this uh, see these points and if possible do the self assessment of your behavior and energy that is your frequency i am here talking about all negative frequency negative thoughts negative energy okay you have to judge yourself okay you have to assess yourself you have to know about yourself. I want you to know because before you could do this uh, process, I want you to go through the, uh, the process of self-realization, what, what you have, okay? So if you have to uh, assess yourself, please assess out of 10, okay? 10 being the highest, 1 being the lowest, okay, dear? So take a pen and your notebook, you must be already having it, okay? just try to do this okay pause this video maybe for 10 15 minutes and start doing the self assessment i want you to do this self assessment because this is part of our process okay dear in this you will understand what kind of energy you are carrying as of now okay so i want you to pause this video take your own time 10 minutes 20 minutes and do this assessment, then you come back to this video. Okay. I hope you're pausing now. <laughs> okay, dear. Okay. So once you finish doing the assessment, okay. Okay. Just keep this paper, the notebook with you. Now let us start the theory of the process. Okay. As I already told you earlier, when we talk about conscious and subconscious mind, conscious mind is your conscious mind is gardener, that is yourself, and subconscious mind is the garden. Okay. Convert this conscious and subconscious mind into spirituality. Okay. 90% of your garden has to be taken care of by only yourself. That is yourself. You are the Mali, you are the gardener of your garden. Okay. You should be knowing what kind of seeds you are sowing. Because definitely those sowing seeds are going to get reaped one fine day. Maybe today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, after four days, after 40 days, after uh, four months, after four years, after 40 years, maybe after four lifetimes. Remember this, okay? 
so whatever you are going to sow the seeds everything happens because of your intention can we able to see this very thin line here thin line this is what your life is going to be power of intention very thin layer of thought is important to create your life okay now we have just spoken we have just seen this video about our auric field can you able to see such a shining light we have around our auric body okay now negative thoughts become unseen energies affects auric fields astral and emotional body we have how many bodies physical body astral body and causal body the astral body also known as auric body emotional body and electromagnetic fields how we are damaging this auric body now you can come to know see this is exactly you have a such a wonderful auric body this auric body is getting damaged because of all these negative thought processes for example the moment you start talking ill about others like for example if i'm talking ill about person uh, x y z okay nothing will happen to that x y z person because i spoke ill about that person i am going to get four black particles in my auric field four black particles in my auric field i hope you understand okay this is your auric field okay you are spoiling your auric field with the with your own thought process so that means the moment you hate someone again you get the four black particles the moment you dislike someone again you are going to attract the four black particles so can you able to see the moment we criticize about others for no reason again we are inviting the four black particles these particles are unseen energies that's what we call them as negative energies okay the negative thoughts only creates the negative energies which are very unseen but it creates big problems in our life okay so vibrational scale of consciousness if you have to see you know the frequency is very very low all these negative energies what we have spoken about now yeah emotion energy in motion okay emotions are energy in motion energy vibrates at a certain frequency the law of vibration activates the law of attraction and through the law of you know deservedness you attract what you sent out by the emotions you hold in your body yeah okay thoughts becomes unseen energy once again let me tell you today for whatever reason you are doing this workshop for whatever reason you are disconnected from this wonderful divine energy okay the disconnection of divine energy begins by resisting the flow when you entertain negative emotions negative thoughts such as fear anger criticism judgmental being judgmental hatred dislikes jealousy complaining blaming talking ill about other separation of emotions doubt pride guilty grudge not trusting your own intuition and the spirit feelings etc okay captured in special kirlian camera i showed you earlier also that we are the light being from the light world that we have to keep shining the moment we start having the negative thought process our shining light reduces and converts into blackness okay it's become dim so the problem starts happening okay it's like our auric field is such a wonderful protection shield you know our auric field you know it's shining but somehow we are damaging that auric field due to uh, due to our own thought process because of our thought process we are spoiling our auric field okay thought becomes unseen energy let me just tell you for whatever reason you are like this very very uh, disconnected from the divine energy after after the workshop i guarantee you 100% the 70% of the divine energy what you are going to receive because why i am saying 70% because 20% you get uh, energy while sleeping 10% 
when you eat however whatever you eat okay that's the reason the 70 percent the divine connection what we are doing that is going to work 100 percent guaranteed results for you okay when you are connected to the full potential of this divine energy your life will reflect with vibrant health abundance go growth and joy with endless creative and inspirational ideas you will be resonating with more vibrations excellent for healing you're most connected to your higher self spirit body or your causal body okay again capturing special uh, kirlian camera after the person getting connected to the divine light how this energy converts into this energy this is the disconnected energy and this is a complete connected potential energy okay dear okay now the alignment of the three bodies, okay, that is physical, astral and causal bodies, which is going to balance and you are going to be in one contentment of the physical, astral and causal bodies are going to give you a best of the life, balanced life, understanding life, self-realized life, you know, unchanged life and transformational life. Let me tell you that, you know, I hope you are listening. The connection of your three bodies physical astral and causal bodies are going to change your life yeah okay the process what we are going to do is very powerful advanced intensive effective spiritual healing techniques to remove the negative energies the first process what we are going to do is removal of negative energies putting energy in each and every cell of the body to get cleans with the help of light energy and mother earth create the permanent connection with the divine light okay what are the benefits from this first process you're going to get okay the most powerful process to remove all the blockages and negative energy surrounded since the childhood in present and past life Okay, now before this, I just want to uh, uh, write it and show you how you are spoiling your auric field. As I have told you, the see, we have a wonderful auric field here. Okay, the moment I am talking ill about you, that four black particles come to me, okay, to my auric field. Nothing happens to you. The same thing goes for whatever the negative uh, thought process we have talking ill about others okay it's like we are thinking very bad about others but you are expecting that person to do something good it will not happen maybe nothing will happen to that person about whom you are thinking bad maybe you don't have good intention towards that uh, good intention towards the person but nothing will happen to that person but you are going to spoil your own auric field you are going to screw your auric field you're going to damage your auric field let me tell you that this is the um, the kadwa such in hindi what we say is a sa truth you know this is the reality of your life just imagine just think from the childhood till now how many times you must have spoken ill about others how many times you must have got uh, you know jealous on others you know there are so n number of you must have hated someone dislike guilty grudge being judgmental you know complain keep complaining about others keep blaming others talking ill about others keeping keep doubting yourself and others you know keep criticizing and getting anger let me tell you about anger the moment you get angry on someone you get 40 black particles how many 40 black particles what you get the moment you are getting angry okay see there are two kinds of anger one anger way you can just take uh, you can uh, take some kind of frustration um, you can get angry uh, on your your spouse or maybe your family member because once you get angry on that person after five minutes or maybe after 10 minutes you'll go and hunt that person you pacify that energy okay you nullify that energy what you have already thrown okay so that anger is okay because you're doing it purposely because you just want to take out that frustration first of all the frustration should not come if it comes i'm just telling you the option but the other anger when, when you're driving if someone comes in between oh my god so many um 
bad words you will use and you will get angry on that person for those kind of for those kind of um, you know action they uh, you know um, you know getting angry on that person you cannot nullify that energy because you are not going to hug that person that person is come and that person is gone that anger will create 40 black particles in your life okay please be careful whenever you are getting angry on anyone if you are having a guts to go and hug that person to say sorry after 5 10 minutes you get angry at least you can release some energy okay so i am talking in a positive way also but negative way if you cannot able to meet that person you don't have the guts to go and say sorry to that person after getting angry then don't get angry okay because you are attracting 40 black particles okay so the the benefits what you are going to get through this okay after knowing what you have done okay now you have to see yourself what are the actions you have taken from the childhood okay it is like this is the garden and this is the you are the gardener okay whatever in the storeroom whatever the whatever you have whatever the seeds you have uh, so in the garden that is going to get reaped after a few days or maybe uh, maybe after a few months okay whatever you sow you are going to reap you reap what you sow okay if you have put anger in your garden the same thing will happen to you somebody will get angry on you if you are hating someone somebody will hate you if you are loving someone the somebody will come to love you you know there are n number of points you know if you are talking ill about others somebody will talk ill about you if you are having doubt about yourself and others somebody may, may doubt you okay being judgmental you are always uh, having the attitude towards others being judgmental somebody else will come and judge you okay whatever you give and you have to take it back it is like a give and take process is happening that is law of karma okay so be careful i hope you have done this like you know negative energy thought current feeling i want you to sit and write it down for 10 to 15 minutes okay since we have already spoiled our auric field this is the first process that we are going to cleanse our physical body cleanse our auric body we are going to create a wonderful divine tunnel which is going to come in your life permanently okay then we will be uh, uh, calling upon mother earth to help us in this process the process i will tell you in some time okay before that, I would like to know what is the benefits of this process. Okay, benefits, achievement and permanent solution towards your spiritual journey. Okay, once you learn all this, you will be utilizing, you will be implementing in your day-to-day -day life. Okay, the benefits are release from the unseen negative black particle and unseen smoke negative energies from the emotional body. The moment the four black particles become, you know, more and more, that becomes like a smoke, which is unseen. With this naked eye, we cannot able to see the unseen energies, the negative energies, okay? Manage the stress, anxiety, depression, tension, loneliness, and manage perfect health throughout your life. Since you don't have any kind of karmic threads, since you don't have any kind of negative uh, black particles or smoke, then the life will be very smooth because you're going to create a new path in your life. Because you already got connected to your divine, your physical body, astral body and causal body is going to be one alignment to have a better life. Okay. Always get protected from our own negative thought patterns and lower dimensional unseen energies around us. Sometimes what happens, you know, uh, there are many lower energies wandering here and there, you know, they come and suck our energy. So you feel very low. Okay. So those things will, will stop happening in your life because your auric body is going to shine like a shining star after this process. Maybe now you must be having only 400 voltage, you know, 
that 400 is going to be like 4 lakhs of voltage or more than that that you will experience in the workshop you know during the process okay you will be always surrounded with positive light energies and light beings from the higher dimension okay because you are willingly uh, want to remove these negative energies and you are doing it with your self realization soul self realization the soul is also understanding what are what are the things you have done from the childhood or maybe from your past life you know maybe uh, past life you might not remember but from this lifetime you know what what have you done to hurt others because of all the negative thought process you have accumulated so many black particles around you so many black particles around you so many black particles around you okay 440 440 440 just imagine each and every thought the negative thought is going is giving you four black particles the black particles when it accumulating in a very higher level that that converts into smoke the black smoke which is unseen with this naked eye we cannot able to see all that okay you will be always surrounded with positive light energies okay complete control uh, control of anger bad habits okay you will be more vibrant and resonating with higher light energy frequency okay you will be controlling uh, you will have a good control on your anger or any bad habits okay because these are all negative energies once all this gets removed then you become very pure okay you'll be shining like a shining star okay you will never feel lower confident with lower energies as you will transform your energy fields with divine positivity okay you're converting your auric field you're converting your physical energy into positive energy along with the help of the light beings okay so no more dark particles no more black smoke you will be attracting only the light beings from the light world we are the light beings from the light world light world love attract love like attract like the same way the light will attract the light beings from the light world okay you will be always glowing with bright light and get connected to light beings anytime anywhere and be in peace okay after this workshop after this first process itself the body of your physical body will start shining like a shining star okay this is all you will realize with the help of your six sense abilities clairvoyance and clay sentience okay it's going to be the wonderful process what you're going to enjoy very soon okay permanent connection to the wonderful mother earth for your spiritual self-healing and auric enhancement okay she is going to have a permanent connection to you throughout your life whenever you are in need of her she will just appear in just uh, in just few seconds and she will do whatever she has to do and you have to do the process maybe i will be teaching you all, all the shortcuts okay if you have the pro if you have time you can always do the 30 40 minute uh, process if you don't have the shortcuts you can um, apply okay that i'll be teaching you later divine conversion of the physical body into divine light body permanently and maintaining this energy throughout your life yes you know every day before going to sleep you are going to convert yourself like a tube light okay like a shining body that that process you are going to learn okay dear so how the process going to start practically how you are going to do it i am going to explain in the next video okay see you very soon thank you god bless you always Thank you.